Hi, this is Deacon Jeff, and today we're going to talk about Our Lady of Guadalupe. Try to imagine this scene. The date is December 9th, 1531. It is early in the morning, and the sun is just beginning to rise. Walking along that quiet morning is a Mexican peasant farmer on his way to Mass. Juan Diego is a recent convert to Catholicism and has no formal education, but he has deep faith. Suddenly, the quiet is broken by the beautiful singing of birds. The music is so enchanting, Juan Diego has to find its source. When he reaches the top of the hill, he comes face to face with a radiant apparition of the Virgin Mary. Juan Diego is amazed by the beauty of Our Lady's appearance. She appears to him as a native princess and speaks to him with a calm, gentle voice in his native language. She tells Juan Diego to go to the bishop and ask that a church be built on the site of her appearance. This will become a place for the people to bring their petitions and receive healing from their suffering. Juan Diego obeys the lady and at once goes to the bishop, who of course is very skeptical of this peasant's story. The bishop patiently listens to Juan Diego's accounts and then dismisses him. Juan Diego begins to doubt himself and wonders if he was dreaming. So he returns to the hill, trying to convince himself he was not seeing things. The Blessed Mother appears again, and Juan Diego tells her the bishop did not believe him. She gently tells him, try again. Juan Diego returns to the bishop the next day, and again shares his story. And at the second meeting, the bishop does something a little bit different. He asks for a sign some proof of what Juan Diego has seen. Juan Diego makes a promise he won't keep, saying he will return the very next day with a sign from Our Lady. Well, that evening when Juan Diego returned home, he finds his elderly uncle ill with a very high fever. He stays at his uncle's bedside for two days trying to save him. Fearing that his uncle will die, Juan Diego has to leave to get a priest to visit his uncle. On the way, Our Lady appears for a third time. Inspired by her appearance, Juan Diego asks for the sign he promised to the bishop. Our Lady tells him to climb to the top of the hill and to pick the flowers he will find there. He is to keep them hidden in his tilma until he sees the bishop. Now Juan Diego is wondering what kind of flowers could possibly grow in the cold December air. But he obeys her words and gathers as many flowers as he could carry in his tilma. He then rushes off to see the bishop. This is the third visit to the bishop, who has been waiting two days to see what kind of sign Our Lady has for him. Now imagine the astonishment when Juan Diego enters the room opens his tilma, and fresh roses fall to the floor. It is not only too cold for roses, but these are not a flower native to the area. But it's more than the roses. The tilma itself has on it an amazing image of Our Lady impressed upon it. In the image, she stands as she appeared, a native princess with high cheekbones. Her head is bowed, and her hands are folded in prayer to God. On her blue cloak, the stars are arranged as they appeared the morning of her first appearance. Our Lady of Guadalupe did not appear again to Juan Diego, for her mission was complete. Within seven years of her first appearance, she had encouraged millions to convert to Catholicism, and a church was built on that hill and remains there today in what is now a suburb of Mexico City. Juan Diego's tilma itself is miraculous. It is the humble garment of a working farmer. Woven from cactus fibers, 
It should only last 30 years before decaying. Yet it remains preserved over 500 years later. The Tilma's coarse fibers are not meant to be a canvas. Yet it is covered with an amazingly detailed and beautiful image of our Blessed Mother. Scientists have studied the image and the surface does not appear to have been treated in any way or prepared to be painted. However, the surface bearing the image is reportedly like silk to the touch, while the rest of the tilma is coarse. Infrared studies have been done that show there are no brush strokes. Moreover, no signs of animal or mineral pigments have been found in the image. Art experts agree that no known technique could create the image. Now that's amazing in itself, but the next discovery is even more amazing. And it is found in Our Lady's eyes. Jose Asate Tonsman, a Peruvian ophthalmologist, conducted a study of the Tilma's image. One of his tests involved examining her eyes at high magnification. In the image, the scientist was reportedly able to identify as many as 13 individuals in both eyes at different proportions, just as the human eye would reflect an image. It appears to be a snapshot of the moment when Juan Diego unfurled the tilma before the bishop. The tilma itself has also proven to be remarkably indestructible. In two separate events, things have happened to the tilma that should have destroyed it. The first happened in 1785 when a worker was cleaning the glass encasement of the image. He accidentally spilled a strong nitric acid cleaner onto a large portion of the image. Now the image should have been instantly damaged or destroyed by the acid. However, the image reportedly self-restored over the next 30 days and it remains unscathed to this day aside from small stains on the parts not bearing the image. The latest incident happened in 1921 when an anti-church activist hit a bomb containing 29 sticks of dynamite in a pot of roses placed by the tilma inside the Basilica at Guadalupe. When the bomb exploded, it damaged a marble altar rail and windows 150 feet away were shattered by the force of the blast. A large brass crucifix was also bent out of shape by the force of the explosion. However, the tilma and the glass case containing it remained fully intact. Truly amazing. On October 12, 1945, Pope Pius XII decreed Our Lady of Guadalupe to be the patroness of all the Americas. Her feast day is held December 12, and it is a holy day of obligation in Mexico. Let us remember to ask for Our Lady's intercession and help let us trust in her assistance. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us.